Mr. Dan Stocking, and the topic is fluoride, the fluoride uh, controversy. And of course, Mr. Stocking, I think as we promised before our uh, second commercial break, that we'd give you an opportunity to talk about some of the health issues mm -hmm. that are uh, related to uh, fluoride and the impact that it's having upon our bodies without, through its accumulative uh, impact uh, without us knowing anything about it. So let's look at it from okay. that perspective. Yes, you know, a lot of times we have these chronic diseases in our country. Mm -hmm. People have these diseases that come upon them. You're not quite sure what caused it. Mm -hmm. You know, why do I have something like achy joints or what did I do that maybe is causing a thyroid problem? Mm -hmm. Well, we're finding after 50 years of fluoridating now mm -hmm. that a lot of the diseases we call diseases of aging mm -hmm. or chronic diseases mm -hmm. and even some that are not age related are, are directly tied or at least exacerbated mm -hmm. by, made worse by the fluoride right. mm -hmm. from all the different sources that we get the fluoride. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to show up on the screen if, if you all can put, there's, um, mm -hmm. we have some pictures of what's called moderate and severe dental fluorosis. Mm -hmm. And what this is, um, these are pictures of people who have uh, moderate and severe forms of this. Mm -hmm. If when you're a young child, you get enough fluoride while your second set of teeth are forming, mm -hmm. um, and you can also, they can also show the second um, mm -hmm. picture that we have here. What, what happens is, is if, if you get too much fluoride when you're young, when those teeth are forming, mm -hmm. you get discolorations of your teeth mm -hmm. and or you get um, pits, kind of like golfing divots mm -hmm. in your teeth. Mm -hmm. Now, a certain percentage of the population, this has now been admitted, um, are going to have the moderate and severe forms. In fact, 32% mm -hmm. of all children now mm -hmm. have very mild, mild, moderate, or severe. Mm -hmm. And certain populations have a, a higher percentage of the moderate and severe forms, which mm -hmm. we just showed the pictures mm -hmm. of. Mm -hmm. And that's what's really critical. If you know, if your viewers know anyone who has that kind of staining on their teeth mm -hmm. or those divots in their teeth, mm -hmm. this is something to look into because it may be being caused by fluoride. fluoride. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is, is that certain populations are more sensitized to this and demonstrate it more. For instance, mm -hmm. the Centers for Disease Control says now mm -hmm. that about three and a half percent of blacks mm -hmm. aged six to 39 mm -hmm. have the moderate and severe forms. Now mm -hmm. that's pretty significant, three and a half percent. Mm -hmm. Hispanics um, are uh, approximately four percent mm -hmm. and Caucasians are approximately two percent or a little bit less. Mm -hmm. And so the, the issue about this is in fact certain areas of the country mm -hmm. that have been long fluoridated, have the most water fluoridation mm -hmm. for the longest time, mm -hmm. have the worst, worst problem. Worst problem. Mm -hmm. For instance, in 1990, in Augusta, Georgia, if you can believe this, 80% mm -hmm. of the blacks mm -hmm. had very mild, mild, moderate, or severe, and 14% mm -hmm. had those, like what's on those mm -hmm. pictures, 14%. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, for me, I think if I had that, I don't happen to have it, mm -hmm. I would say to myself, is this the price I'm forced to pay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for this fluoride, mm -hmm. especially when we, it doesn't even prevent cavities mm -hmm. the way we said it is. And it has been admitted that uh, that is the real problem. I mean, there's no question as to whether or not fluoride is the, is the uh, 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 culprit in, in, in this instance. In dental, dental fluorosis, like uh -huh. we have those pictures, it's 100% caused by that, no mm -hmm. doubt about it. Mm -hmm. the, it's caused from all the different sources of fluoride. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is that this is a very, this is controversial because if you look at the implications for people, I mean, I have no, nothing against dentists or water districts. I'm glad I live in our country where mm -hmm. we have water and dental care. Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful for that. But you know, what we're questioning here is one of the foundational pillars of dentistry. Mm -hmm. It's got to be pretty tough to look at that, mm -hmm. you know, and be honest about it. And in fact, but here's the thing, the Centers for Disease Control and, and various people have now stated that, in fact, no, the, the American Dental Association mm -hmm. Journal says, mm -hmm. this is really key, only 16% of kids' cavities can be prevented by fluorides. Only 16%. Only 16 They've admitted that. Mm -hmm. They want to use tooth sealants. It's a thing you put inside your back teeth. Mm -hmm. It kind of fills in the gaps there to prevent mm -hmm. bacteria from mm -hmm. collecting there. So that's pretty serious, I think. It is. That, that mm -hmm. um, we, you have to weigh the risk and the benefit. The risks are so significant and the benefit is so small. small. This yeah. is admitted now. Mm -hmm. See, we're using their information. Mm -hmm. And let me talk about another one, um, skeletal fluorosis. Mm -hmm. Um, fluoride, when you ingest it, deposits in your bones, mm -hmm. very primarily. Mm -hmm. It also goes in your joints. And mm -hmm. your viewers who are watching this, if you know how one out of three American adults have some form of arthritis, arthritis. now? Uh -huh. Ask yourself, did your doctor mm -hmm. ever ask you or mm -hmm. look into the idea whether skeletal fluorosis could be causing your okay. joint pain? Mm -hmm. It turns out that we have a couple of physicians in the Nashville area who are there so upset at this. They, they said, no one told us 
about, we didn't learn this, mm -hmm. that the symptoms of arthritis mimic those of early stage mm -hmm. skeletal fluorosis. Mm -hmm. So a large number of Americans could be being misdiagnosed mm -hmm. and they're saying it's arthritis when it's actually skeletal fluorosis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and, and there's probably more that you might be able to do against uh, the uh, skeletal fluorosis than, than you could against arthritis. Well, a simple thing to do. Well, a simple thing to do is maybe not that easy to address once you have it, but mm -hmm. the simple thing to do is reduce your fluoride intake. Mm -hmm. And some people have dramatic turnarounds when they just stop drinking fluoridated water or mm -hmm. getting fluoride in certain foods. Mm -hmm. um, another thing, it, now this is really amazing, mm -hmm. one of the top five prescription medicines in our country prescribed today is a thyroid medication. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have hypothyroidism. Mm -hmm. And guess what fluoride does? It causes or exacerbates mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And the issue with that is, is when you have lowered thyroid, you know what one of the side effects is? Mm -hmm. Your body temperature drops and you don't burn as much weight off of you and mm -hmm. you gain weight. weight. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think this is amazing information. Mm -hmm. People who have gained weight and they just don't know the why. Why, they, why did uh -huh. this come on it me like this? It might be because not only are they uh, consuming other things, but they have uh, too, too much fluoride. Is that what Right. It could be causing uh, uh, some thyroid condition. It's not, mm -hmm. Weight gain is not only caused by fl uh, fluoride. Mm -hmm. but, and, of course, you know, here's the thing. Lack of fluoride doesn't cause cavities. Mm -hmm. Your body doesn't have to have fluoride. Mm -hmm what causes cavities is too many sugary foods, mm -hmm. bottom mm -hmm. line. Mm -hmm. And you know, in fact, the area of the world that has the least amount of cavities, you know where it is? Mm -hmm. Africa. Mm -hmm. You know why? They have the least it's sugary different. foods mm -hmm. in their mm -hmm. diet. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing. Um, key populations are also um, more sensitive. For instance, if you have kidney damage, mm -hmm. your body, if your kidneys work well, you, you urinate out about, about half of the fluoride you ingest, the rest mm -hmm. of it stores mm -hmm. in your body. Mm -hmm. But if you have impaired kidney function, if you have heart disease, mm -hmm. if you have a poor diet, not enough calcium mm -hmm. in it, it's, you're going to be more affected by, th mm -hmm. by uh, fluoride. Mm -hmm. So that's very serious, we think. And mm -hmm. you know, people ask us, what can you do? What can you do mm -hmm. to prevent this? Um, some people say, should I drink bottled water? Mm -hmm. Should I filter my water? Mm -hmm. And one of the things, problems I have with putting fluoride in everybody's water is the people who are the poorest who can't afford to buy bottled water, okay. can't afford to filter their water, mm -hmm. they get the most no from the water. Mm -hmm. and, and that bothers me personally as mm -hmm. a public health professional. Mm -hmm. And I think that this issue, people really, the, the education um, really is so critical that mm -hmm. people hear this information. And that's mm -hmm. why we're so grateful that you had mm -hmm. us talk about this mm -hmm. because around the country, cities are starting to wake up to this and they're starting to reject fluoride. Mm -hmm. And we would like Tennessee cities mm -hmm. to start turning against fluoride. It's real mm -hmm. simple to do. You just call up your water district or email mm -hmm. them or contact them because it's voluntary in Tennessee mm -hmm. to fluoridate. Mm -hmm. they, they add it voluntarily. There's no law that requires it. Mm -hmm. The citizens hearing this, all they have to do is contact their mm -hmm. water district and, and, and just say, please turn off the fluoride. Mm -hmm. If you want fluoride, doesn't it make more sense to get it in a toothpaste and spit mm -hmm. it out? Mm -hmm. And then, then just then keep have it in, ingest it your and, whole and life. I, and I think uh, over this last couple of minutes here, Mr. Stocky, I think that you've uh, also indicated that you've been involved in trying to teach and train in reference to this. Why don't you give us a, 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 a little information in reference to how that operation is? Sure. We, we have found that um, church groups and, and community groups and just uh, uh, work groups, et cetera, mm -hmm. are interested in this issue. Mm -hmm. And anyone that is interested in hearing more, we'd love to mm -hmm. talk to them because we do give these presentations. Mm -hmm. There was recently a hearing yeah. in Tennessee looking at the state's mm -hmm. policies on fluoridation, and as a result of it, some legislators are interested in this issue. What do we do to inform people? Mm -hmm. We think this is an ethics issue. Mm -hmm. I think people in Tennessee deserve to hear the other side of the mm -hmm. fluoride story. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's only fair. Mm -hmm. And honestly, you know, the state health commissioner even, um, we asked him to a answer in writing some questions mm -hmm. before the hearing. Okay. And what he did is he re rewrote the questions mm -hmm. and then answered those questions. <laughs> and we said, well, that doesn't make sense. Don't people deserve to hear mm -hmm. the questions about skeletal fluorosis or mm -hmm. dental fluorosis? Mm -hmm. Even the minority health department, we sent mm -hmm. them a letter. We said, what do you think about these things? Mm -hmm. And, and they, they refused to answer. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping that the state will take a more proactive mm -hmm. role. Mm -hmm. in, in the and, and, and so you think that there might be some kind of self-interest that might be involved in, well, in trying to protect this? turf or whatever. You know what, I'm going to tell you, mm -hmm. I think it's very embarrassing mm -hmm. for a lot of public health people. Mm -hmm. I think there's some money that's going to be lost in it, mm -hmm. but I think people's health should trump all of I these things. Very good. And mm -hmm. that's why I, I really w want to get this information mm -hmm. out and thank mm -hmm. you for having Well, very here. good. And, I, and, and let me uh, uh, sort of uh, end this today 
uh, Mr. Stocking, by uh, thanking you for bringing this information by, uh, to us. And uh, I'm very, very sure that uh, people like myself who might not have known that much about it will be somewhat informed in reference to it, and then we can go other places to get additional information. And of course, we'll be with you again next week for another informative edition of Comics. Thank you, and good morning.